Hey everyone, welcome back to Crown Stag VoiceOver. My name is Neil Glasgow. In today's video, I'm going to tell you to not do something I've told you to do before. So, let's get into it. So, in a couple of recent conversations that I've had uh, at home, my wife has told me in uh, no uncertain terms, I'm speaking very loud. Shouting, as as she puts it. Um, and it started making me think a little bit about some of the habits that I've gotten into. Because I'm in here quite a lot and I'm doing uh, corporate reads and commercial work and character work. And I'm all over the shop and in and, and what I'm uh, performing on that day. And it uh, led me to... Uh, work with a new uh, vo- a voice coach <laughs> and the voice coach uh, we started off with a session and a, and a couple bits I was going into and as you can see my, my mic is on an arm and, and I move that around so uh, he said to me okay well let's get started let's let's get the mic and everything set up and uh, I did this thing um, and I went like this to, to make sure I had the right distance and, and where I am right now that is the right distance for that and (laughs) he saw me do this and said what the hell are you doing and I was very confused what do you mean I'm just I'm getting the right distance with the mic said why are you doing that and I said well that's what I was always taught how to do that's everyone I've ever said is is taught me how to do it now I should say this guy is a veteran audio engineer and voice actor so um, he had his reasons behind it. And he said, doing this is absolutely insane for a voice actor. I said, OK, well, why is that? He said, well, if you're singing, if you're projecting and everything, you know, you can have that and uh, a voice going into there and you can shout and do whatever and you can make it sound clear, particularly if you're a singer. He said, this, if you're a singer that makes a bit more sense because you're projecting into the mic. He said, what are you supposed to be doing when you do voiceover? Is that person at the back of the room? Are you projecting to the gods? No, you're supposed to speak. You're supposed to get into the mic. And what sounds better, what makes your voice sound richer is when you're closer to the mic. And I really didn't have any feedback for it. I was like, yeah, mm, good point, actually. What? Like, why did I do that? And again, I did it and I've told you to do it because that's what I was taught to do. And he said, get your mic closer to your mouth. Two to to three to four inches. So I'm going to do that now. And apologies for any mic noise. So that's about as close as he recommended my mic be. And I'm hoping that you can now hear that my voice is a lot more richer. And I started going back to some of my old auditions that I've done, which I've told you to do, make sure that you you hold on to your auditions. And I listened to some of the work that I've produced with the method I was using before to compare it to how I sound now, just with this difference on the mic. And personally, for me, night and day, the richness in my voice just sounded so much better. And it was something that I didn't have to alter with any EQ or uh, compression just to make that sound like I've got more voice coming in. So yeah, that's that's the tip. That's what I wanted to say. Um, I thought it was a very good session. And uh, like I say, it's something that you really should be doing regularly. It's not just going to one um vocal coach, voice coach, go to multiple because you're going to learn something new from from lots and lots of different people. And actually having learned this particular tip or unlearned my technique, um, I thought it worth just passing on. He looked at me like I had just bleeped the bed. (laughs) And he said, I'm not the only one, but it is something that drives him personally insane. Um, But I couldn't disagree with him. I couldn't give him... A, a, a retort that said, no, this way's better. I listened, and now this is where I'm going to have my mic. 
Um, I suggest you test out both methods. Whatever works for you, do it. Um, But yeah, as a voice actor, if you need to get off the mic, get off the mic. I'm now six inches. But for most voice work, well, yeah. Why wouldn't you want to get just a little bit closer to that mic to improve your sound? I hope that helps. I hope that gives you a a better sound. Um, If you've liked any of my content, give me a like and subscribe. Genuinely helps the channel out. Share it around with anyone you think is uh, interested in getting into voiceover. And remember, you can absolutely be a better sounding voice artist. I'll see you in the next video.